Um, so I, I had I had three things I thought I would just bring up, and they're short, I promise. So, so I had obviously, you know, being in the same room with intellectual <coughs> heroes is great. I feel like I'm 12 because I first read many, many people here when I was 12. I thought you were 12. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're always the youngest person in the room. We're the oldest. So it's true. Um, so th uh, the thing I learned a huge amount about was uh, reductionism, explanation, inner theoretic relationships. The first day was just huge for me. I understood Sean much better. Um, this notion of entailment, these are some really provocative concepts that I'm going to take back and wrestle with. And thank you for, for indulging me when I tried to put something up on the board. It's, I'm really grateful. Um, one thing I was surprised we didn't get into as much was um, functionalism. So, you know, evolution is a huge pillar of, of modern science, um, and I think functionalism is too. I, I should, I've been told I should explain better, so I was talking to David Popel last night about his work, and his work is about the computational states of the brain, at least as I interpret it. The way that we talk about, the way David talks about it seems to be, um, in some ways, the domain of computer science, particularly theoretical computer science, um, and which is how I, how I think about social systems. And yet, uh, there seem to be a huge number of problems that emerge there that are both conceptually interesting and also perhaps provocative for notions of responsibility, moral responsibility. And so let me just bring up one, right? So we like to attach moral value to the conscious part of ourselves. Um, if I'm sleepwalking and I kill somebody, maybe I shouldn't be held responsible for it, even if the best rational engagements of my brain are making me do it. And I, there's something we slid past a little bit here, which was, what if the conscious part of our brain is not the most rational part? Should that part, should that part we don't feel be given value? Um, related to that are we think better in groups. So should conversations be, um, be citizens? Should they have rights? Should, if Dan and Rebecca are having a great conversation and their mental states are interacting with each other and producing a larger scale computation, first of all, does it feel anything? Second of all, should we you know, confine them so that this conversation doesn't stop? Or maybe conversations like to die, they're like banthas or the meal at the, at, at the end of the universe, um, that the restaurant at the end of the universe, the one who wants to be eaten. Right? So, um, and I think the third thing, and I, I hope I'm not, do I have, how much time do I have? Done. Sorry. Nope. Sorry. Done. Two minutes. Two minutes, great. So I'll be very quickly. So um, uh, biology and neuroscience, to me, seem like very mature subjects, actually. And it's one of the reasons perhaps I don't work in them, um, because it seems like many of the research programs are very clear. And the, uh, many of the things you want to do, it's like, let's get some dishes and do the right things. Uh, and I've been disabused of that by the exchanges in this corner of the room here. Um, but one thing I would love to see more discussion of is um, the, some of the questions that come up in economics or social sciences, and so Dom brought some of these up. So I've always had this feeling that game theory was secretly about rationality. Okay, good, okay. So people say the rational thing to do is defect, and that's why Nash equilibrium, these kinds of things. And I'm like, what's going on there? And I would love to see a little more excavation as to what economics and the social sciences say about thinking, what it means to think, what the nature of rationality is. And I, I think you brought this up a little bit, and I, and I missed it, I, I, you know, just parenthetically, and it would be lovely to excavate that more if we came back. It's just to go to the sciences that are really fuzzy and dirty and um, where sort of the questions maybe are simpler and more obvious um, to, to play with. So anyway, I'm, of course, very grateful, and you've been very kind to, the, to, to answer my questions. I'm really grateful. Thanks, Thank you. Simon.